on July 5th, 2017, I went for a hike to find a snowmobile key that I lost the previous spring. So I had to traverse across this huge boulder field. It was probably about a half mile wide. There was still snow in the area. I had my metal detector in one hand and my phone in the other as I walked out into this steep area. That's when I lost my footing and slipped down this steep chute through a boulder patch. It was probably about 80 yards before I hit the boulder patch and I slid probably about 40 yards beyond that boulder patch before I was able to stop. It was kind of crazy. My right leg was almost completely torn off halfway down my shin. Immediately I knew I was in big trouble. I yelled for help and you could hear it echo across the whole area and to know nobody's going to hear you because nobody's around. So first thing I needed was my phone. I used my bootlace as a tourniquet on my leg and hiked back up that 40 yards to the boulder patch every probably three or four steps. I was taking a rest and right beside the very top of the boulder patch that I had slid through, I saw my phone laying face down in the snow and I could see a dent sticking up from the backside. When I got to it, I flipped it over and the screen was completely shattered. And so I ended up using Siri to call you. It was just like my biggest nightmare. I've always been afraid that something like this would happen. When I answered, you said, Amy, Amy. And I immediately knew something was wrong because you don't normally call me by my name. But you said, I need life flight. It was a crazy experience just sitting there waiting. I could feel my body shaking all over. It was probably an hour and a half to two hours before I saw the life flight helicopter. And it was probably another hour after that before they picked me up. While this is going on, I was pregnant with our little guy. And How far emotions. along were you? This was July. It was in July. I think I was about four months pregnant. It was scary because with all the surgeries, they were like, yeah, he might not be walking before the end of the year. And the baby was due at the end of the year. And I was like, oh, I really want him to be walking so that we can do this whole parent thing together and it's not just me doing everything and taking care of both of them. What was the hardest part about recovery? Every time we went in for surgery, I think the worst part was knowing there was going to be more. Yeah, it's never ending. Every two to three weeks there was another surgery and every time we met with a doctor he mentioned amputation and him seeing how well everything was going, I think I had turned his hopes from amputation to, we're going to make it through this. And then the last time I went in, I could tell in my leg. That was a hard one, though, because you could tell it was infected. And even the doctor said it didn't look very good. This whole time that we knew that if there was infection, I was going to lose a leg. So we knew. Deciding to amputate, that was like the hardest day probably of our entire lives. So luckily, you've got some pretty cool feet (laughs) that allow you to be active and do what you want to do. And you can still snowmobile. And Right. I've been through a lot, a lot. And I don't feel there's anything I can't overcome. I feel like it's made me a better person. I wouldn't change what has happened to me right same for anything yeah i feel like it makes me appreciate you that much more too you're still here to help me take care of our baby and that's a big deal